So here you are. I know we talked to you last week and everyone's kind of business like, but to actually get here in town yesterday to be at the Frozen Four, what are you feeling? I mean, it's just an amazing experience. We're just trying to take it all in, uh, especially senior year, sharing it with uh, my teammates. It's been awesome so far. For you, I mean, so much comes down to the goaltender. You've been you've been playing great. Your big reason this team is here. What do you feel going into tomorrow? I mean, it's just the same game plan. Um, I've I've established a routine all year, so I'm just going to stick to that routine because it's uh, obviously been successful so far. So. Now you, you I look at the numbers and you're kind of climbing charts here and whatnot. And uh, your your coach is a former Yale goaltender. What what has the relationship been like between you and Keith? I mean, Keith's Keith's awesome. He's been a big reason why I'm here um, today. Um, we've we spent a lot of mornings together on the ice over the past four years. So we have a great relationship. What kind of instructor is he? Uh, he's amazing. I mean, he's he's made it obviously a very business like atmosphere here, and, and um, obviously you earn what you get. And um, that's, that's a big reason why we are where we are. Who's the better Yale goaltender when it's all said and done? Uh, I go with Ryan Rondeau. I mean, he set a lot of records, so we'll, we'll stick with him. Okay. Between you and Keith? Uh, it's obviously Keith. He made a lot of saves back in the day. So. <laughs> um, your opponent tomorrow. Um, you know, you come in here, and you know, I guess every game you've played in this tournament so far, it's been, all right, well, they're the underdog. They're the underdog. Is this a role you embrace? Absolutely. I mean, we, we understand what we are in, in our locker room, so we're just going to stick to our game plan and uh, we'll go out and obviously do our best. So. What's it like for you, family-wise? You got a bunch of family coming in. What's the deal? Yeah, absolutely. They're uh, they're driving from from uh, Alberta down to Montana, then they're flying to Denver, I believe, then New York, and then Pittsburgh. It's just it's pretty expensive to get uh, just to Pittsburgh, I guess. So they're coming a long way to, to share this with me. So it's darn you, Jeff. Yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> What'd you cost the family? You think? Oh, I have no idea. Thousands, I would think. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, I know it's hard to grasp that now. I mean, do you think at some point you'll be like, whoa, that was something? Absolutely. I think it's that's that's the reason why they're doing it. They want to share this opportunity with me so it's I, I'm, I'm pretty happy that they're coming all right I, you didn't make the best of list the survey says list what, what how are you pretty boring I, I mean uh, I might have altered those just a little bit uh, so I, those might not be exactly what they are but you know it is what it is <laughs> you're used to taking shots you can give a couple here Andrew Miller most unique hobby fabrics yeah I, uh, he's, he's a bit of a different character but uh, he's our leader so I can't really to say too much about the fabric collector so does that have to go with the best dress thing? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And then he's the best passer. I guess that's kind of boring. Yeah, I mean he, he puts a, he puts up a lot of assists. So. <laughs> All right. Supposedly the, the goalie's supposed to be the weirdest guy on the team from you know what you hear, but you seem pretty normal to me. Who is the weirdest guy on the team in your eyes? Uh, Tommy Fallon is by far the weirdest. I would say he's just he's just kind of in his own little world. Uh, half the time he's kind of got a girlfriend now, so. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit different. But <laughs> Are you Tommy Fallon? Uh, yes, I am. You have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, I do. And you wear fake Ray-Bans? I remember. You're a monster.